Well, amid all the Bavarian architecture here in downtown Frankenmuth, you'll find one structure that stands in stark contrast to all of the period shops and restaurants. It's the Star of the West Milling Company, a flour mill that can trace its roots all the way back to 1847. Today, the mill is a testament to a thoroughly modern agricultural processing facility, but the mission of the mill has remained unchanged for more than 160 years. In the heart of Frankenmuth is the present day incarnation of the township's earliest business. Constructed in 1848 by Matthias and George Hubinger, the Star of the West flour mill still employs family members who can trace their ancestors back to the time that the mill was first powered by water wheel. But today, Star of the West is a state-of-the-art milling facility, operating 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The mill processes more than 600,000 bushels of wheat a month. That's more than 55,000 pounds an hour. From the time the wheat is unloaded from the field, it travels through an intricate network of rollers and grinders, all designed to produce the finest wheat flour in the country. Sold under the name Nightingale, locals swear by it saying it's the only flour they'll use to make Frankenmuth's favorite snack, the pretzel. We've got some very loyal farmers that stick with us and we're proud to have that and uh, it's been a tremendous help for us because then we know what kind of quality we're going to be getting in. While about 77 percent of the wheat kernel is flour, Star of the West also processes wheat germ and light and heavy bran. Almost completely automated, the entire mill operates with just 50 employees. But despite all this technology, the mill's president says Star of the West hasn't forgotten its humble beginnings. Of course, all small towns needed a flour mill to feed their people and also a feed mill to feed their animals. So that's how we got started. Michigan wheat growers plant an average of 650,000 acres of wheat annually. This year, because of higher grain prices, wheat farmers here planted nearly 850,000 acres, having harvested about 780,000. 